Bro, what is that XP drop? 47, 38. What? That was my first kill. And I've just hit that. What is this Debo? You may be thinking, surely that's a one-off spec. Well, Morrigan's armor's base stats are extremely good, while it's given it a set effect that increases special attack accuracy by 15%. The Dark Bow's accuracy has been increased massively, whilst reducing the special attack cost to 45%, and allowing both arrows to land at the exact same time, making it harder to eat out of. If you aren't sold on its power yet, just let me show you. There's no way he survives. What was that spec? And then that was like a 46-33 with a 15 axe at the end. How do you even survive against that? I love this account. He's 84 HP. The question is, will I hit through DH? And the answer is I will. <laughs> a 48-10. Easiest KO of my life. Another big hit with a knife. A 22. He's dead. 100%. That tier 10 was extremely quick. Thank you to John for lending me this amazing 102 range tank. I'm going to have so much fun in this account. The Dragon Knife DPS against a Zerker is absolutely insane. He's just eating right now and he's dead. A 35-35. <laughs> he has no chance against his account. Even though that spec just failed, I've still got another one. He's dead. Or oh, 42-25. I knew he couldn't eat out of that. He was already too low HP from the knives and the venge. When you're on this account and you see a Zerka, you know it's going to be a good time for you. I'll do. He's dead. Okay, he tanked that, but I've got another spec. It's okay. One more good hit. He smited. He smited. 43-26 for the smite. I think he had an AGS. Hey, there it is. 14.5 mil. What a really nice smite for a tier 8 as well. We're farming. He's already dead. Literally like what? 10 seconds into the fight he's already dead. It's actually rude. This account is rude. With the Debo spec being 45%, I can actually get two throwing axes off afterwards instead of one previously. Oh, that XP drop. He is so dead. I would even need the fucking second throwing axe spec. That was mental. Another very easy tier 10. I am tearing through everyone in this account. And currently my goal is Morrigan's Javelins, which is 650 points. It's a struggle to hit through DH with my Dragon Knives, but I think I'm completely fine with a Dark Bow. There is so many accuracy buffs with the bow, as well as the set effects, of course. Oh, I hit. He's dead. 38-37. <laughs> that is perfect. Free full DH. Like I said, the accuracy buffs are massive on this spec. He has no time to breathe. He's done 24 damage while I've done 124. He's dead. Oh my god, that's a massive spec. Oh, oh wait, I spied him. I spied him. <laughs> wait, what did he have? We're already on a tier 5. Please tell me that's a Karasi smite. Oh, I mean, AGS, that's still good. That's still a pretty nice smite. The Dark Bow's attack speed is very slow, being 9 ticks. But when you pair this with a Dragon Throw Knight spec, it actually resets the attack speed and makes it 4 ticks instead of 9. This, of course, means my next attack after the Throw Knight will be a lot quicker than normal. That looks like a man that's trying to run away. I'm just going to send it. He's dead, surely. He's not. My dark bow is a lot more quicker now with the throwing axe. That's good. Wait, now I've got to wait ages. Oh, he's smited. He's smited, please. He stood still. He's misclicking. He's misclicking. And he died. He died because he misclicked to the people that's exiting. Is it another AGS or is it a Void Waker this time? It's another AGS. That is the third AGS smite I've had. And I do not blame them. There's so much damage coming out of this account. I've done 400 damage. Surely he's quite low on the food. I think he's just trying to risk it right now. He's dead. Surely dead. 47, 34, and he actually survived. That's kind of depressing. Well, he might be out of food. He's panicking. Yep, 27 to 5, and he dies. That is the tier 10. My third one, all without dying. That's actually quite good. Oh. Bro, what the fuck is he just hit on me? <laughs> what? No! My kill streak. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Live by the Debo, and you die by the Debo. That was a 102 damage stack. Oh, found your XP drop. Oh, bro, how's he not dead? What is going on there? Oh, the throwing axes let me down there. 48, 39. That is my biggest spec yet. 44 HP. How's he not died there? Count your lucky stars, fella. Well, now he's dead. Oh, that's a big one. Yep, 47, 23. Then that's like, what, 70 damage? Bro. Oh, 46, 46. I smited him. I smited him for his Elder Maul while hitting a 46-46. What the fuck? Show me this Elder Maul. There it is. I do not blame him for getting smited. 46-46 Diva. Wow. One more decent one. I'm going for it. He's dead. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that stack? There is no way he ever survives against that. What is that stack? That was mental. 
That was 113 damage stack. You heard that right, 113 damage. And 17.7 mil in the loot. That's actually really nice for this combat bracket. There's no way. <laughs> oh my god. A 48-40. What are these last three kills? All the specs have been absolutely insane. We're on a tier 9 right now. I'm having the time of my life. This is so fun. If you are enjoying these Debo hits as much as I am, then please subscribe. We actually recently got 50k subscribers, so thank you guys very much for that. That is a massive milestone. He's dead. That was a really nice eat for me as well for the tier 10. I think we need one more tier 10 for that Morrigan's Javelins. He's dead. Ooh, through that defense is quite nice. 35 36. He is so dead. Oh my god. 45 38. I love fighting Zerkers. Oh, back to back 27s. <laughs> oh my god. Back to back 27 knives into an insane Debo. I would be lying to you if I didn't say I'm worried about that Abyssal Dagger. I feel like he could just one-hit me any time, but my deep book come on him, and he's dead. <laughs> uh, 42-25, let's go. No way he survives that, no way. Yep, 100% dead. That is a tier 10 for the Morrigan's Javelins with an insane Debo once again. I can't wait to try out these Javelins. I have a feeling like the spec's not going to be great though. Go on Javelins, he's dead. Bro, I won't lie, I've been trying these javelins for a bit and the spec is terrible, but the poke is really nice. When I say terrible, I mean terrible compared to the Debo, which is completely mental. Go on, javelins. Yeah, there we go. That's our first KO with the javelins. What I'm going to do is spec with the Debo, but poke with the javelins because it's quite accurate and it is 5 tick compared to a 9 tick Debo. Oh, that's a massive hit in my Venge. He's so dead. 44 28. Let's go. He's dead to the javelin. Oh, wait, I'm dead. Oh, no, that's a steep death as well. That's like 50 mil. Last ditch Debo. Wait, is he dead? Oh, he actually died. That's nice. Go on, nice. Pop off. That is perfect. He's so dead. He's not out eating that. That is what I want on full carols as well. That is a tier 6 we're back on. Don't get me wrong, I'm still getting some really nice loots, but mains is so much better for loot than this combat bracket. He's left it quite late to start running away. I think I can still kill this. Come on, javelins. He's dead. 55 Javelin, that's actually really nice. I think I've figured out the perfect setup with this Javelin Debo and Morrigans. One more good one. Go on, Javelins, he's dead. Oh, that's actually really nice. He says, oh, people do not expect the Javelins. Go hit my Venge. He did as well. He is so dead. That is perfect. On the Venge with a really nice knife. That is what you want for a tier 10. I'm nearly out of food, and Javelins are actually quite accurate on DH, so I might try and send it. Oh, I actually hit. He's dead. Oh, that was a 66 stack. With the javelins and the axes, that's actually really nice. So dead. Oh my god. What the fuck? A 46-45 Debo. Holy shit. That's one off the highest hit I've had yet. 47-28. You guys have to try out this Debo Morrigans. It is so fun. 86 HP. He's just so dead. Yep. That is the quickest tier 10 I've ever got. I've still got the axe spec. I think I can still KO this. And you won't expect it either. Oh, that's big hits. Really big hits. There we go. That's like 73 damage when I only have 30% spec. Wait, did I just knife KO him? I just knife KO'd him and he's risking an anguish as well. I mean, I'll take it. Let's go. Cheeky 14 Miller. I need one more big knife. Okay, that's perfect. He's dead. There's no way he out eats this. 45 39 with a 7 axe as well. Let's go. His HP is looking very low. Okay, he's just dead. Yep, 45-33. A lot of their bounty hunter rewards are cheaper, so now I've got 800 points refunded on this account. Which means I only need two tier 10s for what I'm looking for. One more. Yep, perfect, he's dead. That means we now need only one more tier 10 for what I want. Let's go. This guy's a pretty good PK. I just need some RNGs to kill him though, and he's got some decent risk. That's good enough. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? What was that stack? What was that stack? There's no way he eats an hour that one, fella. And I got 14 points, which means he had a high tier. Get this, I've just added up that stack. It's 132 damage stack. 132 damage. What the actual shit? And for a 14.3 mil loot, that is perfect. What the fuck are you doing? What do you think I'm doing? I'm nearly out of food. You're dead, fella. Nah. Bro, this game is actually so annoying. That's happened so many times. Where well, you've just gone inside. That's stupid. Wait, what? I have a tier 10. Huh? He died? How? How did he die? What? He must have died to poison. He legit must have died to poison as he came in here. 
No way. No way. I got his VLS. I got his VLS cash. He lost his VLS. <laughs> That's actually perfect. That is actually perfect for the final tier 10 as well. You can see as I'm exiting, he died to the one damage poison from my Dragon Arrows Plus Plus. That is honestly perfect and has never happened to me before. What the fuck? So in the final tier 10, I'm going to buy full Zerials. I cannot wait to PK with this one. Look at that. Like an absolute demon. We got some really nice profit from the kills in this video and if you do want to see some more on the Debo then check out John's video in the description. Also want to say thank you again for 50k subscribers and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.